This is a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air four-door and we're gonna take it for a quick drive to show you around. She fires right up. This is an automatic, factory automatic. It's actually got a, a factory four barrel, which is really nice. Transmission shifts perfect. Of course, it's a two-speed power glide, so there you have it. One, two, and that's it. I actually drove uh, this car to the car show yesterday, drove it home. Uh, we just got it in, and man, it cruises. Here, I'll let Glenn hold that. Look at this, one finger. It does not have power steering. I mean, seriously, when yeah. I go with the steering wheel, look, it drives perfectly straight. It turns, like look, I was taking I mean, it down the literally, driveway. I mean, I'm still not touching the steering wheel. Yeah. Look at how straight this car drives. It's ridiculous. When I was uh, driving it down the driveway, I thought it almost did have power steering. It felt, it felt like it. It feels like it has so power nice. steering. Yeah. Brake stop, look at how straight the brake stop. I mean, I'm not even touching the steering wheel. We're stopped perfectly straight. Gosh, this car, I love this car. This is the first four-door. Yeah, ever bought. that's right. First four door I've it's ever a bought. Your classic car moment. I know, right? <laughs> well, how can you? But how? How? How can you? Let me put it in gear before I let off the brake. How can you pass on this car though? Yeah, I couldn't like, pass on it. Um, I don't normally buy four doors, but super nice. You, you just, I couldn't pass on this. Thing. Engine uh, has very low miles. I mean, I'm sorry, the car's got very low miles. I was uh, revving the engine up there, no smoking. Uh, believed to be 96,000 original miles on the vehicle and there's actually a really there's an old oil change thing here good wrench motor oil uh, it says uh, November 3rd 1994 uh, 94,675 miles on it that's a, almost exactly 2,000 miles ago that's that means the car uh, is basically a barn find if you want to call it that parked for a long time pulled out had a new tank put in Engine uh, gone through with a tune-up. I mean, listen to that engine. Gosh, it sounds awesome. I'm telling you, this car runs great. Turn it off here. Oh, I meant to show that too. The temperature gauge works, looks like. Um, the um, speedometer works. I can't tell for sure if the fuel gauge works or not. They did just put a brand new fuel tank in it. Um, but I only put about five gallons of gas in it. So I'm not positive. I'm not going to pro promise that it works. Um, super clean under the hood. This looks to be an original unrestored vehicle. Um, I would say with one repaint. Super clean. I mean, we're talking about no rust on the car, or very minimal rust. We're going to do an ex examination of the car right now. Um, beautiful chrome pieces on the hood. Eyelets look really good. The chrome um, on the front, it's got a little bit of pitting and surface rust there. Uh, 10 feet away, it looks awesome. Uh, maybe 15 feet away, but you can tell definitely that's got some wear in it. Original hubcaps, body lines, super straight. Aside from that front bumper, the rest of the chrome looks really good, uh, or at least all the trim looks, I would say, excellent. I'd say, an eight and a half maybe all the trim aside from the front bumper and then the rear bumper it's got some surface rust here uh, and pitting well i'll tell you what i wish we would have taken a buffer to this thing you take a buffer to this car and bring it up to a whole nother level i thought about doing it but i just kind of wanted it this is like a, the unrestored car kind of thing i mean if, if the way the car drives I'd have to say that at some point in its life, I'd say the engine's got to have been pulled and rebuilt. Um, you can't tell for sure, but um, just from experience in these vehicles, uh, it just drives so good. You can tell that the brakes have been gone through. It stops perfectly. It's just, it, it just drives too good, steers too good, all of that. To, to at some point in time, somebody not have at least done the m regular upkeep on it. Um, <clears throat> Underneath the car, I mean, unbelievable. 
Dude, did you look under here? No. I mean, there's no rust. At least not th th that I'm finding at this point. Yeah, we gotta put it up in the ramps for pictures. So yeah. Well, I'll take a look. Super, super clean. Awesome. Go underneath here. Floor pans in excellent condition. Frame rails, excellent condition. Unrestored, I mean, these all look original. Now they, uh, um, exhaust pipes do look like they've been, re they've been, uh, redone at some point. Somebody put new mufflers on it. I mean, this is 1957. Uh, the body looks all original. New tank. I believe that's the original um, cast iron power glide. They did have a tendency to leak. <clears throat> and I'm looking at and seeing some evidence of a transmission leak under here. Nothing major, um, just looks normal. Wow, these floor pans are unbelievable. This car is, un <laughs> wow. This is the first like super good look I've taken at this car. So I'm genuinely I'm genuinely being surprised right now. I'm not a, you know, if you guys, if you're watching this video and you know us, I'm, the, I'm not a typical used car salesman. I don't blow things out of the water or try and tell people how things really are. I mean, no rust. Dude. Yeah. This, this car's freaking crazy. This car's really nice. Look at this. This is ridiculous. I mean, this is honestly the first really good look I've had at the car. We just got it in like two days ago. We wanted to get it right up for sale and find a new home for this thing. And somebody is going to just fall in love with this car. Look at that. Original uh, Jack Stowage and Jacking Instruction sticker. There's an original oil filter box back here. I wonder if it's got some in it. Yeah, looks like it's got an original oil filter in it. Original, uh, of course, now that's a new, new tire. Uh, new spare tire, but it's got the original jack placement. Um, lights work. In fact, I'll pull the light switch on this thing. Turn signals work. My wife followed me home when we drove this back the other day. And uh, she said, yeah, turn signals are working. Your brake lights are working. Lights work. License plate light works. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I don't want to sell this thing. This is, like, great. This is the I, can, that we love I, should, I love this color. Just showing that the lights are up front or on. Okay, it looks like we got a bulb out over here. Or at least one level of the bulb out. Sometimes you can hit the brights. Did that, uh, the bulb come on? No, it's still off. It's still off, okay. Looks like it needs a new bulb. Turn signals do work. Heater works. Radio works. Radio, oh yeah, that's right, the radio works. Let's see, oh. Now that is one thing that's been replaced, obviously. But somebody did a really tasteful job putting the radio in. They didn't chop the dashboard all up. That's really nice. Oh, horn works. This uh, dashboard looks amazing. Windows roll up and down like they're supposed to. All the glass is in great shape. Dude, this is a time capsule car, man. This is unbelievable. I think this is the original interior. It doesn't look like it's ever been restored. I'm blown away. I wouldn't do anything to this car. I'm... I wouldn't do anything to this car except put some 18s on it and lower it. Throw me in it. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. I don't know why people do that. It's like a time capsule car will leave this car alone and just drive it like it is. Somebody's gonna love this thing. I mean, the body lines are super straight. It would be really easy to block it and put a finished paint job on it if you want to. I, I don't know why you do that. Oh, there's one one flaw in the paint here. But boy, if you could if you could just get that touched up and buff this car out, gosh. Put new put a new front and rear bumper on it. It would look awesome on the outside. And then the interior looks great. Hey man, first time I've ever opened a back door in five years. I am not exaggerating. This is my first four-door car. I don't buy four-door cars because, I don't know, they just don't have the value that the two-doors do. I'll tell you what, if this was a two-door, it'd be 
in this condition, psh, be worth another 10 grand. Anyway, somebody's gonna love this thing, really enjoy it. Um, makes me wanna keep it, seriously. It's unbelievable. I think what's unbelievable to me about it is it feels like a time capsule car. I mean, it really genuinely looks like it's unrestored. Um, it runs great. Gosh, I love old cars.